everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I have a bunch of little parcels in front of me. There's a mix of PR parcels, fan mail, stuff that I bought for myself, and it's things that I couldn't necessarily make an entire video on the individual parcel. So I'm gonna put all these things together and I might do one of these videos maybe like once a month if you guys enjoy watching it. From when I started my channel a few months ago, I've had people asking me if they could send me fan mail, but I felt really awkward and I was like, oh, I'm not really like a big enough YouTuber to warrant getting fan mail, I didn't think. I was like, I, I felt, I felt really guilty, like, oh, you really didn't have to do that, like, I'm, I'm not that great, <laughs> it's fine. But I had a lot of people asking me if they could send me something, and I don't have a P.O. box, but I borrowed someone's P.O. box, and I gave it out to a couple of people, and these are my first parcels, my first fan mail, and I cannot even begin to express how thankful I am to you guys for sending these things. I have a couple of other parcels on the way, people have told me on Instagram that they're sending us stuff, so I'm gonna try and put those ones in the next video. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. So I'm going to leave the fan mail for now, and I'm just gonna open some of the more boring things. So the first thing, now I already ripped this open because I was so excited. I got a parcel in the mail from Mac. So this is absolutely insane to me because Mac is one of those brands that I, as a kid, I always dreamt of being able to buy Mac makeup, but I thought it was too expensive, so I, I never did. And then in 2000 and Nine, I think it was, or 2010, I went to Hawaii, and MAC makeup over in the States is a lot cheaper than what it is here. So, I, I mean, I could, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that MAC lipstick in Australia is like $28 for a lipstick, but in Hawaii it was only like 12 or something. So when I went to Hawaii, I spent so much money on MAC makeup, and I have never bought any since then. And I'm still using some of those products, so that was literally eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if it was 2010 that I went, it's 2018. Good lord, what is time? <laughs> it's like time doesn't exist. So anyway, I'm still using some of that lipstick and I still have some of that eyeshadow and some of that foundation. So a little while ago, my friend Lucy Living on Instagram, I saw that she went to like a PR thing that was organized with MAC and she tagged the name of the company that she went with and it was a, a PR company and I was like, oh, She's in Australia, by the way, so I was like, oh, I wonder if I could talk to that PR company and maybe get involved. So I sent them a message and I said, oh, hey, I saw my friend Lucy did a thing with Mac and I was wondering, like, if you guys would be interested in working with me. And they came back and they were like, oh, yeah, we had a look at your Instagram account, your YouTube channel, and we'll definitely, like, set you up with some Mac cosmetics to have a look at and review and stuff like that. So that's what this is. So I'm really, really excited because, A, I didn't have to pay for any of this, and B, it's all new products, and I mean, I haven't bought anything from MAC for eight years. I've just kind of looked at it from a distance. So I'm really excited to see what some of this stuff is. Okay. So, ooh, it's a magnetic box. Oh my god, guys, this is my first PR package. I'm dead. I'm not even a beauty guru. What are they doing sending me stuff? Okay, so it looks like there's a fair few things in here. The first thing that we have is... This is Queen Supreme. This is probably an eyeshadow palette by the looks of it. So we'll have a look. I'll just show you everything and I'll open them up. We have a lip pencil. Cool, if only I had lips to draw on. There's another lip pencil. Oh, a matte lipstick. Oh my God. It says Velvet Teddy. Oh, I'm so excited to open these and see what colors they are. This is a sparkly box. Prep and Prime Lip Base. Okay, yeah. Right, you need to put a base on your lips, do you? Oh, did, I was not aware of that. Bold and Bad Lash. So the last MAC mascara that I bought, which is the one that I got eight years ago, literally has lasted me eight years. I'm probably not meant to be putting eight-year-old makeup on my face, and I'm sure you're gonna have a yell at me and tell me I'm ranchet, but I mean, it, it works, and my eyes are fine. But at least I have a new one now. <laughs> we have another lipstick, retro matte lipstick, false lashes maximizer. What's that, Archie? What am I meant to do with that? Well, I don't think I'm meant to eat it. We have 
skin finish. Oh, this is one of the things that I bought eight years ago. So this is good. I, I wonder if it's my shade. I, I, this is what I want to know. PR packages. How do they know? Do they like look at you online and then figure out what skin tone you have and then send you the stuff? Or do they just send a random sample? Like, am I going to open this and it's going to be way too tan for me? Uh, we have lip scrubs. Okay, a lip scrub. There's a lot of lip products in here. <laughs> Are they trying to tell me something about my lips? They're like, girl, your lips need some serious work. This is a strobe cream. Uh, I suppose it's like a highlighter, right? I guess. Are there instructions to these things? Oh, to add glow and vitality to tired, stressed out skin. Use when needed. Well, I think my skin is always stressed out. There's a lot of things for my skin to stress about. You know, like taxes. And fix <gasps> fix plus! Oh my god, pink light for fix plus! This is what the booty gurus talk about! I always hear us, it's like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fix my face with some max, with some max fix, fix plus, and then they go spritz, spritz, and then they go and they just keep going until the bottle is empty. That's exciting. And then, uh, well, that's it actually, there's nothing else, I'm sorry. Sorry, you're a little bit in the way. Yeah, I'm, I know, I know. Alright, so let's let's get into some of these things. So, fix- Whoa, look at this! That's awesome! I'm so excited! Oh, here comes Archie. He wants to have a look. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do a first impressions of all of this MAC makeup in a separate video. I kind of feel like that could be a video on its own. Not that I really know what to do with any of it, but I'll figure it out. I'll watch some tutorial. Hey, that's what I could do. I could do a, I followed a so-and-so makeup tutorial to teach me how to use MAC products. So can someone please drop some recommendations down below and tell me which beauty guru I should probably watch to figure out what to do with all the MAC stuff? Cause I'm, I'm really, I, I really don't know. I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know why MAC trusted me with all these beautiful products, but you know, we'll figure it out eventually. Okay, next. If you've been following me on Instagram for a little while, you would know I have a terrible obsession with pushing. I'm just absolutely beyond obsessed with pushing, and I have been ever since I discovered pushing as a sticker on Facebook Messenger. I've just been unhealthily obsessed. And pushing kind of epitomizes Daniel and my relationship. So for the four years that Dan and I have been together, we've sent each other no other emojis other than pushing. So it's like, wanna go out for dinner? And then we'll send the happy pushing to be like, yes. And then it's like, oh, sorry, hon, I'll be home late. And then we send the, the grumpy pushing. So like pushing has always been our thing. And I post a lot of pictures on Instagram, my pushing collection. And way, way, way back a couple months ago when I started my channel, I posted a pushing collection video as well. And I've bought a lot more since then. And I'm always posting it on Instagram. And one day, pushing herself snuck along into my DMs and asked me if she could repost one of my photos. And I like, screamed and fangirled and cried and I said yes. So the Push In page reposted my photo. I ended up gaining a whole bunch of followers after that. And the funny thing about that photo, I took that on a really, really crappy old phone with a broken screen to prove a point that you don't need to use a fancy camera to take good photos. And that video tutorial is on my channel, it's from a few months ago, but I basically was saying you can take really nice looking photos with crappy phones as long as you know how to edit them. So anyway, they reposted that photo and I was so excited. And then not very long after that, they sent me a message and they were like, we love what you're doing. Like we've seen all the Pusheen pictures and everything and you're obviously in love with Pusheen and we want to make you like an ambassador kind of thing. So they signed me up to their program and they're going to send me boxes. I don't know how often they're going to send them, but all I have to do in exchange is take photos of the stuff and post it on Instagram. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> this is... This just goes to show, good things come to those who wait. If you're really, really passionate about something and you like take lots and lots of photos of it and you shower the brand with love and attention, they might just pay attention to you back. Maybe it's good karma, I don't know. But anyway, so the Pushin company is now sending me Pushin stuff, which is gonna save my wallet a lot because in the past I have spent countless dollars on Pushin products. So this is 
I'm so thankful for this. Very excited to open this. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is the actual Pusheen subscription box. I don't really know. They just got me to give them my address and they said they would send me something. So I don't know if this is the actual Pusheen subscription box or not. So we'll see in a second. Ready, Archie? There's cats in here. There are cats in here. Are you sure you're ready? I don't know if you can see that, but there's there's a beautiful little sticker, a Pusheen sticker. Oh my god, I'm going to keep this forever. Pusheen sticker and a Pusheen postcard. Oh, it says thank you. You're welcome, Pusheen. You're welcome. There's a lot of sparkly paper, which is really beautiful, and I'm going to keep that. Does anyone else keep paper? Does anyone else keep wrapping? I, When people give me presents, I'm really careful about opening the wrapping paper because I, I like to keep the paper because, I don't know, I guess I'm a weirdo. Ah! Okay, the first thing is a travel mug. Now over there, I have a ton of Pusheen travel mugs. I collect them. This one is exactly the same, not the same design, but it's the same style as my Hi Buy Pusheen mug. So this one has the cute little Pusheen on a little scooter there. And then on the back here, it's got, let's go. What do you think? Oh, Archie is making direct eye contact with the Pusheen on the back. <laughs> that, oh, I love it so much. So this is going straight on my shelf as part of our collection. The next thing is a pair of socks. I have lots of Pusheen socks too. And I normally buy my Pusheen socks from a shop called JJ's. Uh, JJ's is like a licensed vendor of Pusheen. And, <laughs> hey, no, you nasty boy. No, 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 no. So we've got Pusheen eating a ice cream on that pair, and then Pusheen eating a lollipop on that pair. They're adorable. Oh, this is, oh my god, is this what I think it is? Ah, I'm dead. It's a Pusheen jumper. Yes! Now I actually, I have a bag with this Pusheen print on it, so this matches my bag perfectly. Let's put it on. Uh, can you just sit here? I can't believe this is exactly the same pattern as what's on my Pusheen duffel bag. That's so sweet. And what size is it? Oh, I think I told them my size. I told them to send small. So yeah, this is a small. I wonder if I can put this on with Archie on my head. Let's see. Let's see how we go. Alright guys, are you ready? <laughs> Great success. Oh, I'll pull my hair out. How's that? Yes! That is so cute! And ah, there's a skirt too! Oh my god! Uh, thank you so much for sending me these things. I cannot believe this. Look at this skirt! This is beautiful! Ah, okay, I'm gonna put this on too. That is the cutest skirt ever. I can't believe there's a pushing skirt. What the hell? I'm so obsessed with all these pushing clothes. This is amazing. I have a lot of pushing t-shirts, so I can definitely wear the skirt with the t-shirts. Okay. Swimsuit. How cute. So the swimsuit is one of those swimsuits that's kind of like thin around the waist so that it only kind of covers there and the sides are open but that's really really nice the print is pushing riding a surfboard with a sloth there's a sloth down there and there's pushing on a surfboard so that's amazing it's becoming winter now though in Australia so I won't be able to wear that for a little while there's a stationary pack stationary pack two which is here Archie can you what am I gonna do with you just Okay, what's in here? Ooh. You know this one is not for you. Ooh, there's a few things. Oh look, he's already broken that. Classic Archie. You're just gonna have to sit there. Okay, so we have a an eraser. Pencil sharpener. There's a pen. Yeah, Archie, why don't you show them the pen? Show them the pen. Go on. 
There's a couple of pencils and another pen as well. And they're green, so Archie's very, very happy with those. And there's a journal, which is so sweet. So that's everything in there. And even the thing that came in is cute too. Like it's got a little pusheen cupcake on it. Oh my God, the last thing. I literally tweeted this backpack. Oh my God, I tweeted it the other day. I saw it, I think it was this one. I saw it on their um, Twitter and then I was like, need, need, I retweeted it. So uh, the universe listened. I'm amazed. It says lazy and then it's got this cute little pusheen thing and Archie is chewing it to buggery. So that's amazing too. That's everything in the parcel. So next, there's this random box and I have no idea what this is or where it came from, but it says on the outside from Ambassador Productions. So I don't know who Ambassador Productions are. I suppose I must've had some sort of correspondence with them because they have my address. So I, I don't really know what this is. So I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe it's a play button. Oh, oh my God. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I'm not gonna show you this. This is my, this is my degree. I just graduated. This is my university degree on a plaque. That's nothing interesting. Although it's a good uh, point of conversation. I graduated with a media degree. If anyone's wondering, uh, I've worked in media for the past few years. While I was at uni, I had a full-time job at a very large media company. Um, and now I also uh, run my own business. I do a few things. I do wedding photography. I do like graphics design. I do advertising, marketing. So that's just my media degree. I had no idea that was coming, so <laughs> that's not interesting. All right, so now on to, oh. <gasps> Is this what I think it is? Guys, this is so exciting. You have no idea how excited I am about this. This is an item that I've been trying to track down for so long. Anyone that uses Depop will know what ISO means. In the photography world, ISO is about image sensitivity, like the sensitivity of the camera sensor to light. So the first time I was on Depop and I saw people posting ISO, 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 I was like, what? I was so confused, but turns out it means in search of. So the very first in search of thing that I ever posted on Depop was of this backpack. And I've had it up for like five months. And the other day, one of my Instagram followers found me on Depop, spotted the bag, and then hyperlinked me to the bag on eBay. And she was like, I found it! And it was in Australia. And I finally bought it. Now this bag, this comes in a couple of different forms with this pattern. It also comes in a handbag and a purse, but I've managed to acquire the backpack now, so I just need to get the handbag and the purse. Are you ready for it? Hey, let go. What is that? What have you got? Drop it. He's got some sticky tape in his mouth. Drop it. Yeah. Are you ready? Here it is! It's the Loungefly Pastel Pokemon Backpack. I don't think I've ever been so excited about a bag in my life. I've been looking for this forever. It was sold out at all the stores that sell it in Australia. So here it is. It's even still got the tag on it. Good Lord, I'm so, ah, I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. It's never been used. Ah! So that's two awesome backpacks that I've had in this unboxing. So that's, oh, it's really, it's really nice pastel pink on the inside. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy and I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. I feel like this is one of those things that's just too nice and too precious and too pure to ever use and I'm just going to leave it on my Pokemon shelf forever. But I'm not even mad because I kind of feel like it's like a collector's item. What's the matter? What? Now I'm going to get into unboxing the van mail. The first parcels are from such a beautiful soul. Her Instagram username is MyDisneyPins. She has been such a such an amazing supporter and she sent me these and I'm so excited she sent them all the way from the UK and the parcel has such beautiful wrapping the parcel has this beautiful English wrapping it's like London Bridge and the British flag so this is really really sweet she sent her 
fan mail in two different parcels. So here's the first one. I do know some of the things that she sent, but there seems to be a lot more here than what I thought there was going to be. So I'm freaking out. I can't believe. Oh my god! <laughs> video is just turning into a push-in video. <laughs> she shouldn't have spent all this money on me and I can't believe that she did and this is just the kindest thing that anyone's ever done. And this cushion is so cute. This is going on my bed. This, here we go. I don't know if you can see but this will be living, living permanently on my bed. Thank you so much. Oh, oh it says Alex. Oh there's a letter. Oh my god. Oh my, I'm, sh I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, oh it's, <laughs> She, Archie, Archie, look, she sent you a tag. Archie, Archie, what's that? <laughs> so Archie is unhealthily obsessed with tags. He absolutely loves chewing on them. They're his favorite thing to destroy. He was trying to get the tag on this pushing top a minute ago and now he's got the Harry Potter tag. <laughs> to Alex, I cannot wait until you receive this box of goodies. They only had a size 10 left in the jacket. Oh my God. She she sent me a pushing jacket too. Oh my god. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry if it's too big. I hope you like everything from Jody. And then her Instagram name is My Disney Pins, and her Twitter is Jody Mason96. And she's given Archie this tag. She says, I love you and Archie so much. Please don't ever stop making videos. Thank you so much, Jody. I'm literally shaking. Oh my I feel like I'm gonna cry. Thank you. And this is box number two. Oh, oh no, I opened them out of order. Did I? Well, well, we're halfway through. This we're halfway through now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Or should I open the other one? I feel she said this is box number two. I feel like I should open the other one. Okay, this is very 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 heavily wrapped. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Hello, Kitty. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't know she was sending this too. Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Holy crap! There is so much stuff. Oh, sorry, Archie. I just bonked Archie on the head. Okay, it says, okay, so first of all, I'm sorry it had to come in two boxes. The original box was too heavy. This is box one. That is okay, Jody. You didn't have to send me so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, what have, what have we got first? We have... Ooh, Archie's enjoying getting stuck in. I know what I said before about I keep paper, but with Archie around, I'm, I'm not going to be able to keep any paper. Pushing pins! Look! No, Archie, you can't have them. They're so sweet. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to put these all over my bag and all over my top. Okay, ooh, there's, oh, there's too much stuff here. I've never seen so much stuff. This is more than what the Pushing company themselves sent me. <gasps> Look, Pushing Keyring eating pizza. This is so cute. Oh, look, it's a llama. He's so beautiful. So he, this is one of those, you, you can like put pieces of paper and stuff in here. So he's going to go on my desk. He is so cute. Oh my gosh, the attention to detail with all the wrapping. Ah, it's a pushing wristbands. Pushing wristbands. They're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. How do they come undone? So it looks like, oh, okay. So we just have to, oh, no, let go. No, 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 no. Hello Kitty, something here, hello Kitty. Archie, you're not helping. I know you think you're helping, but you're not. Ceramic Kitty Bank? What? What? ceramic and it's got little it's licensed Sanrio product this is so beautiful oh my God, thank you, there's more there's more this is just insanity I have Jody oh my gosh what is this this is wrapped in bubble wrap so it must be precious do more of what makes you happy. That is so beautiful and that is so true. Like seriously, that is just, that's a motto to live by for all of you. I want you to, if you take anything away from this video, it's do what makes you happy. Don't worry about anyone else. Like people message me all the time and they say, oh Alex, 
you wear pastel clothes and I really want to wear pastel clothes but they don't suit me and they say stuff like that and they say can you please help me with self-confidence can you help me with this and that and my advice has always been do what makes you happy if you like pastel clothes but people say to you pink doesn't suit your skin tone you know what who gives a crap if pink doesn't suit your skin tone if you like pink and you like wearing the color pink wear it if it makes you happy do it like 110 percent everything in my wardrobe now is pastel and every single day in my messages and on my videos people are like oh pink washes you out and i'm like well you know what pink makes me happy so uh, i'd rather be washed out and happy we have more socks let's go they're mine pusheen socks so there's three pairs here there's space pusheen there's like a purple a purple oh more space pusheen that is so cute. And then there's a grey pair at the back there. They're adorable, I love them. Let go. Let, nip, 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 nip. Oh, face masks! These are so cute! Look! That is so precious. No! Nah! That is so amazing. I'm so excited. It's like a three-step bathe in beauty. So we've got a cleansing body wash, exfoliating body scrub, and a hydrating moisturizer. That's so exciting. I can't believe that there's more. I like, this is insane. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Here's the jacket. Now Jodie said to me that she could only get this in a size 10. I mean, this is, it's a, oh, this is a pushing jacket. Look, Archie, let go. Look, isn't that just so beautiful? I'm gonna put it on. Archie, you're stopping me from pulling my hair out. People are gonna have a fit if I don't pull my hair out. I love it. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Jodie. Can you see? This jacket is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I love it. And there's more. I don't believe there's more. There's this, oh look, what have you got there? He's got a sticker. That's not a tag, it's a sticker. Give it to me. This is a cosmetics bag. Beautiful cosmetics bag. It's a pink velvet cosmetics bag with a beautiful little pom-pom on it. Fox's Party Rings Minis. Natural colour derived from fruit and vegetables. Oh my gosh, is this... Are these English? Lovingly baked since 1853. Oh, I can't believe that you've sent me something to eat too. Okay, alright. So let's get stuck in, shall we? I'm so excited. Archie seems to be excited too. Oh, how about biscuits? How cute is that? Oh my god, my, I'm literally shaking, like I can't even hold this properly. So good. No, none for you. Mmm. They're so crispy and crunchy. And they're sweet, a bit like icing sugar on the top. Oh, they're so yum, thank you. One last thing. Oh, this is so cute. She sent me a DM and showed me that she bought this. This is a Pusheen t-shirt. Look! And the balloons are actually like really, really soft, fuzzy balloons. Oh, I love this so much. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Jody. We love everything so much. You are so kind and you, you really shouldn't have bought so much stuff. Like when you sent me a DM and you were like, oh, I got you some fan mail and you said you got the jacket and the socks and the t-shirt, I was dead. I was like, I cannot believe that she bought me like these three pushing things. And now I've unboxed it and there is like, ugh, I don't think I've, I don't think I'm ever gonna get over this. Thank you so much. You are just so incredibly kind and I really, really appreciate it so much. And I'm glad that I have your return address on the box because I'm gonna send you a little something to say thank you. So keep an eye out. And then we have one more thing, the last parcel to unbox. And this is from Miss Beth Harris. Now, Beth is from the US. Okay, this is an envelope and it says Sparkly Archie. It says, so I was waiting on another item. Archie, no, 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 no. Archie, no, I've got to read that. Get away. I know it is for you. It, it does say Archie on it, but you can't tear it apart. It says, I was waiting on another item, but it's going to take too long to get to me. Plus, Etsy used the wrong address. I'll send it at a later date. I'm so sorry. Beth, please don't apologize. I mean, you, you've you literally sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you please don't go apologizing that there's not another thing. <laughs> yeah, Archie, I know. This is for you. Look, he's so keen. So eager. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Look, guys. Now, Archie, you're not allowed anywhere near this. No. No, sorry. Look, how beautiful is that? It's a big sparkly Archie. So this is going up on my wall for sure. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look, it looks just like him too. Look, that's you. Look, who's that? Who's that? Who's that birdie? Isn't that a handsome boy? What do you think? What do you think? You like it? He's, he's enthralled. He's literally enthralled. Wow, you wanna give it a kiss? Give it a kiss? <laughs> Look at that, Beth, you broke my bird. Look, he's broken now. This is like, uh, you know when people travel in time and then if they see themselves back in time and then things all start going wrong because they've traveled back in time and they've seen themselves and then you're not actually meant to see yourself back in time? That's what happens to Archie. Archie has literally just broken. <laughs> okay, we have, oh, these are so cute. Look, it's a trio of sparkly hair ties, scrunchies. I love that iridescent one. That's so beautiful. And the other two are velvet. Unicorn glow hologram mask. What? Oh, we have stickies. This looks super unhealthy, but it was too cute to pass up. But is it really hollow? That's what we're gonna have to find out. Don't worry, Christine, I'm gonna do some proper investigating on this one. A detox and brightening. Yeah, unicorn hologram mask. I will put this on, I, I will, I'm gonna use it. Although, oh, I, I kind of, no, I'm gonna use this on my, on my story on Instagram because I kind of feel like if I put it on now, it won't really be doing it justice because it looks as though you have to put it on, what do the instructions say? Clean your skin, oh, and you've got to use toner, and then you then you put it on and you leave it for 20 minutes. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do this one and I will do like a little story about this because I really do want to see, is it actually hollow? Oh! Frozen bean, ow, ow. Naturally and artificially flavored frappe mix, cotton candy, holy crap. Oh my God. Okay, so it says pour five ounces of, of milk or water into a blender, add an entire bag of the frozen bean mix, one and a half cups of ice and then blend. And you can also do a milkshake where you add three scoops of vanilla ice cream and then two tablespoons of this mix and then you blend. I'm gonna do a video with this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, thank you. We don't have anything like this in Australia. That's so exciting. Oh look, there's a birdie book. That, that is a Major Mitchell cockatoo. That's what they're called. Major Mitchell cockatoo. And it says a little notebook for journaling or video ideas. Oh, number one, read this one first. Don't read on camera. Number two, don't read on camera. It's too long. I'm gonna read them now. Beth, I just finished reading your letter. That was the most beautiful letter I have ever read in my entire life. Beth sent me like a seven page letter and it was so lovely and so sweet. And I just, I can't begin to explain to you just how much I appreciate everything that you said. And you told me a lot about yourself, which was so interesting for me. And you asked me a lot of questions too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a video and I'm going to read your letter and answer your questions and I'm gonna post it but I'm gonna list it privately and I'm gonna give you the link because in your letter you were like, sorry about my handwriting, it's really bad. Girl, your handwriting has nothing on mine. I have the worst handwriting you've seen in your life. So I think I would rather respond on video. So I'm gonna answer all of your questions in a little video and send it to you. Thank you so much to Jody and thank you to Beth and thank you to Pusheen and thank you to the girl that sent me the link to the Pokemon bag so that I could buy it. And thank you to Mac Cosmetics for sending me that awesome package full of stuff that I have no idea what to do with, but I'll figure out. Oh, and thank you to my university for letting me graduate. This has been so much fun to film. I'm not sure if anyone's actually gonna watch it. For those of you that do, thank you so much for watching. Archie and I had a really fun time unboxing everything. If anyone wanted to send me anything, I'm giving my PO box out like in DMs. I'm not really gonna post it on my channel because like I don't want people to feel like I'm asking them to send me things. Like everyone that I've given my PO box to is because they've contacted me and been like, I bought you a present, like where can I send it? Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a really, really fun video for us. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.